Talks. We are, um, I'm Sally and this is Laura Hilton. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness, I'm getting all choked up because Laura came all the way from Utah. <laughs> I, I have. <laughs> you do. We are so fortunate to have Laura with us. Um, hey, she did come from Utah, believe it or not. And uh, by way of Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Yeah, we stayed right? in Myrtle Beach yesterday. Yeah, it was really yeah. pretty. I really love that. And she recently has spent, well, did you spend two weeks in, two uh, weeks in Australia? Australia? Yep. And because the, um, the owner of, of Peony Patterns, is in Australia. Yep, that's where she lives. So yeah, we, well, and I went there to so get some work done. Did you get any work done? We actually did. We drafted a whole pattern. Good. So, we, so we, Laura I, is, did actually work. Wow. It was impressive. Well, you need to because that way you can count it as right. A it tax has to, deduction. It had to be a real work. <laughs> <laughs> that's when we're like, hey, we need to go to the beach. Can we work while we're there? You know, we can. We be, did so much working. Listen, well, you know, we just went, that bonding uh, stuff yeah. is really important too. Right. It was a it was a team bonding. Yeah, that's right. Team bonding that's right. Trip. That's right. Well, I love um, Peony Patterns. They're they're they've been wonderful to work with, and we've been collaborating with them on on a lot of things. And Laura has been like, you just made your dress, didn't you? Yes, I actually made it yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> and so, but then all of these little doll dresses, you know, I love dolls, right? These are all peony patterns, yes, all right? Yep. So who, who do we have here? Um, this one is, this is Poppy. And this is actually my favorite doll because she is made to look like my daughter, Bonnie. Um, little Bonnie Bell. Little Bonnie yeah. Bell. So she's, yeah, if I had to get it all. She does like, look like her. Doesn't she yeah, look like she her? Does. Um, but she's wearing a Poppy dress, which I absolutely love. And it's got this cute, like, it's got the same back as the big girl dresses. Oh, I love that. And it's just super fun. I actually, when we first started making doll patterns, I was like, oh. <laughs> like I was really annoyed about it because it seemed tedious to me, mm -hmm. and I'm I'm kind of one of those mm -hmm. like I like the 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 big quick sews, mm -hmm. and so like mm -hmm. tedious things feel a lot of like. But we started making them, and I'm like, oh, I always love yeah, this they're dresses. Cute. They're so fun and so fast. So yeah, I, I love all our little. Well, it's dresses. especially fun to have Laura come and bring. um Like right away, I saw that this wonderful little trim is one of our vintage trims, and. Like I handpicked it from that. I feel like y'all have a similar taste. This is, we do. Like yeah. What I do is like, I love, love, love this. And I, I bought, I have a lot of this trim and I have it in every color because as soon as I saw this trim, yes. I was like, oh, I need this in every You know, color. I couldn't understand why people just didn't buy it out because I, I mean, I bought it out when I, when I found it, that's why I had 10,000 yards. Yeah. Right? Well, I, now I have 10,000 Yeah, no, that's right. Oh, I'm so glad. So this is. So you y'all being here today with Peony Patterns, you're the uh -huh. head designer. Yes, Peony head Patterns. designer at Peony Patterns. And y'all are doing a thirty percent off discount for your site right now. Yes, for just for this um, event for being here with mm -hmm, you guys today, mm -hmm. we went ahead and we um, if you use the code Gab and Gush, and I'm sure we'll have it. Yeah, like posted. It, right? We'll have it posted. Yeah. This and it was in the newsletter this it, morning. It was too. in the newsletter. Um, all it's actually all week. You can use it mm -hmm, all week mm -hmm. to get thirty percent off on site-wide on our site so that's we were just exciting so, excited to be here. Good. so and then you brought some samples of some things we might need oh yes we, we have got to show well let's finish the doll, <laughs> <laughs> let's get to the doll. kristen said sally's gonna be holding these dolls i knew yeah. it look at that pretty hair isn't she a cutie yeah. she's like one of my favorites and look at that too. little hair barrette <laughs> <laughs> When I've made doll clothes before, I mean, sometimes I put them there and say, oh, you look pretty in that color. Yeah. You know, that's cute. So this is what pattern this, this is? This is a jasmine. This All is right. the um, doll jasmine. And actually, this is also jasmine. It's just oh, jasmine comes tiered. in a short sleeve or a long sleeve. And then it has tiered skirt or a simple skirt. I love that. And then it also has like the ruffle on the bodice right. option or the plain bodice option. That's and so it's fun because the doll clothes really do have all the same right. like options that the big girl clothes have. So very, like Bonnie actually cute. has a matching dress to this that she I love that has yeah. her, that she mm -hmm. she wore a lot this fall that cool. has hers has a little bee embroidered on it right there. Do we have it? Do so we have it? Do we, we have, have it? it? I didn't bring it over here. And Dixon says, what a treat. Pity Aww. Patterns is my favorite PDF company. Aww. Thank you. Thank you, Ann. Thank you. Well can I show can I show oh there it is. It's right there there. Let's, let's get that. Get it? Oh, it. Please get it. Thank you. I'm gonna sneak this up here also so yeah. we can talk about it in a minute. Yeah, so this yeah. one is the one that matches Aww. that. So it has the same ruffle oh. as this one. And it has a little bee on it. <laughs> when you Bonnie. said a bee, I'm oh, like, you thought like a oh, bee. A bumblebee. You know, I'm like, 
Where's the bee? That's that's her little her little embroidered bee that kind of matches cute. her little flowers. So this is match. a liberty, I think. Right? It is liberty. Yeah. I love this. Liberty. And it's a wonderful. I love how it goes this. with this yeah, color. It's, it's perfect. really pretty. So this is the tiered skirt version. Yep. Oh. Yeah. So cute. Bonnie got the tiered skirts because I guess I love her more than the doll. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You put a tiered skirt. Yeah. On well, this that's one. my. Yeah. That's, she's a baby. Babies need the tiered yeah. skirts, right? <laughs> the, well, I'm, we're loving the tiered skirts. Last last summer we did a lot of tiered skirts for our for our beach photo shoot. And um, and now I'm seeing there's so many tiered skirts. Tiered skirts are really yeah. in right now. Yeah. I think it's the it's the fun the the the, the pull they give so much more volume. They the do. And so I and actually to... at painting we are very into full skirts and oh, volume and volume. <laughs> We're always like, can we add more to that? So this was a special make by Laura for Kristen. It's a baby Jane. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Isn't it sweet? I can just see her running around in this with her I hands love, in the pocket. So this is Posey. Okay. And I love Posey. It has these big pockets that all little girls just love. And actually there is a doll version to Posey too. And the doll version has the functional pockets I too. And we that. test it like the dolls can put their, put their hands in they it. Can put oh, their pockets. That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> really important. This is really sweet. So, I love how this one Y'all all know Sally and she can't help but get ahead of herself when she sees I know I'm pretty. not supposed to. So, <laughs> So this is where we are, but I also want to say, Laura, like, where are you from? Oh, How I know. Like, let's start. Let's talk I, about I was Laura's thinking that. Let's find out about Laura. Oh, you need to come back to Posey then? Right. We'll come back to Posey. Um, but tell me about this. No, just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> She's distracted by the dolls. She can uh, help. I am easily distracted by pretty things. Too. Well, I do. I would like to know, like, how did you learn how to sew and that kind of thing? I love, I love to find that so out. So my oldest daughter, Emma is, uh, she just turned 18 this month actually. And when I was pregnant with her, I sewed her a baby quilt and that was the first that thing was your first sew? I ever sewed. And actually oh, it's funny. I figured you've been sewing forever. No, um, my mom, when I think it was when I was 18 or somewhere in that time frame, like right after I graduated from high school, she, I think for Christmas or my birthday, they're kind of close to each other. Um, she bought me a sewing machine and like a pack of fat quarters mm -hmm. and she was like you might not appreciate this gift now but i think someday you will and i was like okay and it kind of like just the box like just went into like the closet and whatever and i didn't and then when i was like just towards the end of my pregnancy with my first daughter i was like you know what i think i'm gonna make her a baby quilt <laughs> <laughs> and luckily she had bought me like a pattern right just one of those quilt yeah. top patterns yeah. and i just followed that pattern and i you know Put it all together and that was the first thing i made and then as she grew up like as she got older i started kind of transitioning first i made her like little skirt things and oh. then so did um, you go straight from that uh quilting kit to like embroidered foil <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah that's, <laughs> i was just like one Listen. day i made a quilt using Man, squares and then yeah. the next day i was like oh it sounds I'm really nice <laughs> Swiss embroidered lace. Yeah. <laughs> i really like these swiss lace no um and I did, it was funny, I made skirts, I did a lot of quilting. Um, like I made a lot of baby quilts. I made, I've made all my kids baby quilts. I really loved quilting for a long time. And then um, I made like, and it was early 2000s, you know? So like those, I don't remember if you remember those like quilted skirts were like the patchwork skirts yes, with the ruffle yeah. and the two tiers and the yeah. super full. So I made her a lot of those mm -hmm. like kind of patchwork skirts. Mm -hmm. And from there, and because I was self-taught, I actually didn't know how to read. So you're a paper pattern person. Mm -hmm. I am not a paper pattern mm -hmm. person because I never like, they always, I didn't understand them. Mm -hmm. So I actually started drafting um, things for my daughter from the beginning. Like in my mind, it just made more sense. Like this is how the bodice works and this right. is how everything goes together. So I didn't use patterns in those early days. I always just made everything up. And then, so that's, you know, it's been 18 well, years good. now. So over the 18 years, obviously, so this, we, have I've graduated. To, yeah. Anything to do with just anything, whistle. but are, were you, were you always kind of a math person? Um, because I consider a person no, that makes is, patterns is good in math. It's funny. A lot of times um, people don't realize how much math goes into patterns. Right. And it is a lot of math. Yes. And, um, I mean, I'm not I'm not a big time math person, mm -hmm. but like the math that it takes to, to it, understand it patterns, right, definitely. Right. I like to. And I actually kind of enjoy. This will be unbelievable. I, I do enjoy a little part of the like the figuring out the mathematical mm -hmm, part mm -hmm. of patterns and like that hand pocket that mathematical <laughs> hand pocket oh oh i love that i love that because she and i were talking about i mean when we, we always when i was yes. sewing for people 
so many mm. years ago. I would just cut my own side pocket and put it inserted in the side seam. Yeah. And so Laura, tell them how you how you figured out. Well, so the I was size telling them that like so I mean Peony has a really awesome in like um, oh. inseam pocket pattern that we released and it's a free download and it has like really great instructions and there's a pattern piece. But I was telling them I actually when I Bonnie thinks all dresses are supposed to have pockets and a lot of times I don't really have time or take the time to like use the mm -hmm. pattern but so I just like will fold the fabric in half and sometimes even fold it in four so I cut all the pad the pockets all the, pieces the same at one time at one time mm -hmm. and I'll just put my hand down and then when I put my hand down um I'll just take my rotary cutter and I will literally like <laughs> rotary cut around my hand so that I know like the opening is going to be big enough for her hand to get in, because like, yeah. well, if my hand fits in it, mm -hmm. her hand's gonna fit in it. So that's kind of how I. I that was really I'm like, smart. that's the size they yeah, are. That was really smart to be able to do that. Just draw around your hand, and you know that. So that's kind of my cheating. So Sally's yeah. next pocket will be. The size. It's, it's gonna be Sally's hand. That's really. Actually, I guess it doesn't work right. really well if you have like a little, a little tiny. If you got a little tiny, hand. Hand. Oh, the pocket be hanging below <laughs> the skirt. <laughs> but for me, yeah. it works really great. Uh -huh. Just like I just put it down and I go around it. And then well, I think it's fun to have pockets in because the kids, if you ever put a pocket in there first they do their hands are in their That's pockets all the time they well, love it i actually get really annoyed when i put a dress on it i don't know i actually made yeah. this one for me and i like you didn't put pockets in i actually it was like i was like should i put pockets in this but i oh. actually saw this right before i got on the plane to come here so there was <laughs> there wasn't even time for fake pockets it was like no buttons go. no button holes yes. it's like a wrap dress Perf Boom. like purposely yeah. i was like yeah. well i picked a wrap dress because yeah, that's, put buttons that's on right it, that was so. smart that was yeah. smart so y you live in utah so i live in utah i and have um, your whole family is from utah did you grow up in utah? no i actually grew up in alaska i moved down no to kidding. utah when i was 20. i want to say 20. that's the number we're gonna go with so yeah <laughs> like it feels that's like I was good yeah that's right i was 20. Uh -huh. um, i moved down to utah when i was 20 and i met my husband there he's from utah mm -hmm. so we've always just kind of lived so your, your extended family in alaska or no um yeah my whole family is in is pretty much it's some of there's some in washington too mm -hmm. but they're mostly that kind of either alaska mm -hmm. or washington area so so when did you get into like children's clothing like how the how old, i know you're talking about with your daughter but right. then it's specifically like designing for peony or right so um a couple years ago i started um testing pattern testing for some companies i'd kind of taken a little bit of a break from sewing i had five kids so there was you know mm -hmm. that like that Bag. that real yeah. Uh -huh. like where, where it's just like it wasn't even necessarily so I mean, well you kind of lose your sojo for a little bit you know mm -hmm. like it's just like i just can't right now i wasn't in that stage um but a couple of years ago i started sewing again for bonnie and especially um i like to make over the top disney world outfits yeah. for her and so your um, costuming is yeah that your costume i, 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 it's I really, love it's amazing. It i love so costume so you can one of those see things that, that i really enjoy the sewing projects that laura has made on um follow her on instagram at little bonnie bell mm -hmm. or Facebook, right? Yeah, I'm Facebook, on Facebook too. And there's a lot. Down. Well, or if you're in the uh, Peony Patterns Facebook group, mm -hmm. you can search my name and pretty much mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. I make these days goes there. So you can always see so it. So this is way off the subject. You know, things yep. just kind of you're flip good. In, and, in and out my mind. So Peony Patterns, that's a flower name, right? right? And so so do you do you try and make flower names or do you come up with names that mean something to people or all do you our, run all out our patterns it? are named after flowers? Yeah. And we've actually discussed the fact that someday they're gonna, they're have gonna have run to, out. We're gonna have to get <laughs> a lot more creative to keep going. But there's a lot of flower names out there. Yeah, so at least for now we're we we've um when when we're really really making uh especially when we're making kits for dolls doll uh -huh. kits we had all kinds of crazy names and a lot of flower names and i thought you know we should get one of those flower catalogs and just go down because all these names of the roses and everything we can name them all these different, different names that, yeah, well, yeah there, different types of roses there is a bunny rose and i am oh, like just i am just waiting for like exactly it's going to be the, the exact name. right pattern to come along and she will get a pattern oh, for sure because i was awesome. like I was like, I call. Here's a Bonnie. Let's talk a little bit about peony patterns. Yes. Um, there are there's a size range, um, and then do you have like baby clothes, and then um, preteens, and then children? You know, yes. tell, tell me how you have them set so, up. So right now we have children's patterns that are run size one to fourteen, mm -hmm. um, and that's kind of the size range we're we're locked into. We are um, always looking into growing, but right now we're at size one to fourteen. Then we have baby patterns that are that's like zero zero, which is going to be your newborn mm -hmm. to size four, and so. Um, now the children's 
Well, I know one thing I think is interesting is how you've been talking about the um, tutorials for the patterns right. and how instead of like instruction sheets is how I feel like yeah. I always referred to them. Yeah, instead of instructions, we call them there, tutorials. But, but I mean, yeah. and partly because, um, especially with peony patterns, when when you're going through, like, so you you know you have the download and you're going through the instructions, mm -hmm. but it, like put it just goes so step by step mm -hmm. that there really are, and there's like even hyperlinks to videos. That can show like you so right so it's more like a little you know mm -hmm. it's a tutorial to show them mm -hmm. like exactly well, how I, to go. I think it's really neat that you have one dedicated employee dedicated to creating the tutorials writing them clearly linking doing all the hyperlinks yes. and then you really get a feel yeah well, and that's I, I think we it's want, great we really um we want consistency across mm -hmm. all yeah. of our patterns yeah. and mm -hmm. so we don't want we so we take it really seriously even like sizing wise mm -hmm. like if your child measures a size 10 in jasmine then it should it will be a size Transfer 10 in posy and, and it'll be, you them. should be able to like right. i mean obviously we always stress <clears throat> right take new measurements and Absolutely. go by the measurements because right. the measurements right. are so important mm -hmm. you can't you know like and especially um we do have a lot of blending oh. instructions too oh so sorry she did <laughs> Um, we have a lot of mouse. like instructions on how to how to properly blend between sizes too, which right. makes a huge difference because there are some girls. We've uh, actually one of our testers even just did in our tester group a show of like her daughter is a size seven, but a size five chest, but a mm -hmm. size seven height, and she's like, if I had just made her a size seven, look how this would have fit her. Right. But by blending the sizes, and we have a lot of blending instructions, and it can go the other way too. We have. And we try to have a like wide well, range of Regina testers. Regina Kerr said, she said, I just got a new pattern from Peony Patterns. They're talking about how you are color coordinated today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it's almost like we planned it. Let's see. Actually, I did. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I, I said. Saw, I saw what you were wearing. I thought I should wear blue I'm like, today. I told you what I was wearing. <laughs> That's you right. didn't get a heads like, that. No one told me. Kristen, no. Kristen and I never know. De Deborah Parker, she says, what's the name of the pattern between them? The dress with the big pockets. Oh, that is oh, Posey. And we'll get back posy, to Posey, I promise. Posy. We, mm -hmm. Sally jumped the gun on Posey. So we'll, then we'll Janice back. Cook says, I'm so fascinated with people who started sewing without a pattern. I wish I had that skill. <laughs> well, I'm kind of cool. glad, though, that that's like how I learned to do it. Because it, like now when I see, like, so, um, and, you know, as as the head designer for Peony, a lot of times, like every, like patterns come through me and I'll sew up a sample and then we'll check. We are very meticulous about checking arm size, checking for anywhere where it's going to gap or anything that's wrong with fit, even before it goes into pretest. And um, because I did spend years drafting my mm -hmm. own patterns, mm -hmm. like when there is a pucker somewhere, I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. if there's a pucker right there, it's because this angle needs to change. Mm -hmm. We need to fix mm -hmm. that angle. Well, mm -hmm. I feel like that's something Sally always says to you about like the area almost always points to the yeah and it's almost an yeah, arrow but, you know where yeah. there's a big pucker yeah and it points to where the where, where the issue is yeah or, like it needs yeah. to if mm -hmm. it's if it's a little off there well then you know you see. Mm -hmm. but it, but i think mm -hmm. that luckily even though and, and i've done a lot of learning since being self-taught but you mm -hmm. know it's i think just having that as the base makes it so that i do see i can see where it's like oh that needs to it's a little different it well, needs to be fixed right mm -hmm. there well so, i yeah. always enjoy um going through <clears throat> all of your testers options you know when you post the pattern and then you see like oh i might not have liked it this way but i love it this way or i love that sleeve or i love that part of it right and so it really is helpful to see yeah. all the options when we are really lucky we have an amazing testing team i absolutely just adore our testing team mm -hmm. they work they do so much for us and we just really appreciate mm -hmm. them so much and um we're really glad that we have we have we have the best testers <laughs> hey a good team matters right it yeah, does we have right. i think that's we have right. a really good team yeah. and we have really good testers mm -hmm. and i just love you know the group that has been put together do you know how many patterns that you have right now <laughs> I, don't. I don't know why i, just I don't that. um I'm like i'm gonna ask you some hard questions it's a lot i, yeah. Yeah, I should have gotten yeah. a heads up on that one <laughs> um well, I know because like last year, someone was like, oh, do you know how many patterns you tested last year? And I was like, oh, man, if I'm thinking of how many, I remember I'm like six. And it was like 32 oh, yeah, or right, something right. like completely. Right. So, I mean, I don't even want to guess. That's a lot. Oh. I mean, we're starting to, we really, I mean, we're a newer company mm -hmm. and um, we don't release a lot of patterns quickly because we do care so much about making sure mm -hmm. that the quality like anything before we release it we've checked the quality so many times um, right. we've checked the tutorial quality we've checked you know just because we don't want to let anything through um 
I love Maria Wilson's comment. She says, candy <coughs> patterns are some of my girl's favorites. I love that my 11 year old can wear the same pattern as my nine year old and not feel babyish. Oh, that's right. nice. Like, I think that's, that's huge. Yeah. Well, and we do, we try like classic. We're and, kind of hoping to, you know, like expand, especially since uh, Tosh, the owner, mm -hmm. and um, I, our girls are getting older. And as your girls get older, I think that's where it's going to start pushing us mm -hmm. to have to continue to evolve with that. But we do, since we both have older girls, I think it's really easy to make super cute baby patterns mm -hmm. i mean like dresses on little girls are so I mean, easy and so fun anyway. yeah. but we definitely when we design we do have that like 9 10 11 12 year old girl mentality in mind that she's gonna want to wear and as your girls different. get older like my granddaughters you know you just start thinking in different fabrics you use different colors it's not all just yes. heirloom although you tend to use our heirloom things and they're so beautiful oh, and on your nine-year-old daughter i'm and really lucky with her that fabulous. she is she's very into the pretty things I and i'm very that. lucky that i have a girl that's, that's i know it was we were saying very... michelle back here michelle does some pattern testing and she's got a daughter who's like she's like i'm not i don't want to yeah, put that no, on like, almost 14 so oh, see, oh, she's, there she's, you go yeah, yeah. I, I keep wondering when my window will close uh -huh. with her but luckily she's nine and still yeah maybe not. she's she, well and it's fun because she does actually wear um the dresses i make her like she really she wears she wears dresses pretty much every day and she just loves wearing dresses so it does make it a little easier on me that i don't ever have to fight her to do a photo shoot or to put on a dress Enjoy she's it happy. You can. i know i <laughs> I like yeah. this good stuff at any time. Yeah, question though, um, can you print only the size you need? Deborah Parker's asking that. You can products. when you print in. I think there's actually a tutorial or a video layers. about it about yeah, layers on how to do the layers um, on our website. We can look for that and link her. Um, but yeah, you can select just the layer you want and just print the layer mm -hmm. you want for and sure. Y'all should know Peony Patterns is running a special for Gavin Gus today. I was just going to say that yeah. because if you just joined us, this is Laura Hilton and she is the head designer for Peony Patterns and they are so generous. They're giving a 30% discount yes. site wide yep. if you use the, the code Gab and Gush. Yep. And it will actually yes. go all week. Yeah, all we week. didn't want. We didn't want yeah. to make anyone have to stress too much. So but, get a whole week to decide. But we're really anxious to see what you make too. Yeah, and plus they should join your Facebook group and share their make, shouldn't they? Yes, I, we love. We actually we love seeing people on our. It's Peony Pattern Sewing Group mm -hmm. um, on Facebook, and it's a really great place to just share. You can share the patterns you what you've made from Peony Patterns, and I it's just that. it's a nice community. I really love the. I think they're oh, very and encouraging Dixon too. wants to know: Are you the photographer and hairstylist as well? Oh. I am. <laughs> um, I actually get a really bad rap though because anyone who knows me, I am like when they see my pictures, I shoot in auto mode. I do not use a DSLR. Um, so I don't do all the manual stuff. I don't do all the fancy stuff. So I hate to even say that I'm a, like, I'm a photographer. I take the pictures of Bonnie. <laughs> hey, I'm very Bonnie's lucky. Pretty photogenic I'm too. very lucky oh that Bonnie is really yeah. like good at what she does because I think she makes a lot of, uh, she, and guess what? She, she wears one. some pretty cute shoes. Yes. Bonnie does. <laughs> I have a, we like shoes, right? <laughs> I am. I am. Uh, Bonnie's shoes are also well known among. I yeah. love. I love a good but pair you, of shoes. You, but you do use them more than once, which I think is really yes, great. Yes, we do use them. Yeah, and, then, and actually, yeah, we, we enjoy. They're that cute. Too. I like the ones that had the like the bow in the back. You know, were they red? It seemed oh, like, the red with the yeah. big bow on the <laughs> yeah. side. Yes, those yeah. shoes are. Yeah, those are some of my They're favorites. Pretty, pretty one of your pretty. testers on here saying love testing for a peony. Oh, Natalie. Natalie. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we're going to which dress you want to pull out first? How about this one? Oh, do you, we should go back to Posey because we were starting talking about it and then we lost yeah. it. I love Posey. Okay. Is that too high? Are we good? We're we can, there or we can, we can go. I can go a little okay. bit lower. I don't want to make you like. No, I'm fine. Okay. okay. So, yeah, this or is. Or we can do this. Well, maybe not. I feel like I make that part look easy. You do. It's, it's like, what do you so do? Bad. My goodness. She takes uh -huh. this off and. Uh, so, Posey has this cool pocket pocket yes posy is actually one of the first well, dresses that i it. okay that um i designed for peony actually before i even started working for peony i sent this a drawing i so when i design dresses um we all there's a couple of us designers at peony and we all kind of have a different style of how we like to do it when i do it i like to sketch the dress first like i just see okay this is what i want and i'll sketch it out and so I sent a sketch of this um, to Tosh, and that was the very first one. So this is kind of like Posey's kind of my like baby. 
Um, Something I didn't know until you were here with the dress is the extended shoulder. Yes. I, I, I love that. Which was really important to me because Bonnie, at oh. her school, you have to have a sleeve. Mm -hmm. And the teachers are like, we don't care if it is just the tiniest bit of a cap, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. they have to have a cap oh, sleeve. I didn't realize it so had neat. a cap too. I I so, that. yeah, so we, we, uh, so, so it has, um, the, a full, just a yeah, bit. just, it's an extended cap oh, right on that. that. So it does, and it does just, like goes just right over the girl's shoulders. It just kind of comes in. dainty. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. very, it gives mm -hmm. a very pretty, and it's nice mm -hmm. because they do get that shoulder coverage in. But like in the that summer, you need for Bonnie school. That you need <laughs> yeah. for school. But also like like sunburns in the summer. You just yeah, I mean, like yeah, it just gives right. a little bit of coverage. But then she's still like not. Well, I love that it's sleeveless, but it's I don't know. Yeah, no. I, when, well, some in some some places. I mean, I know I grew up in a church where my even my my parents didn't want us to go with our arms completely yeah. bare, and that, so that really does give a little bit. So of it coverage. does just give. Mm -hmm. a, I think it just it. We it's really a more modest. We actually in it. We don't often we we made a lot of um samples of this before we sent it mm -hmm. into to testing um tosh and i really worked very hard at something actually we're really proud of exactly getting exactly the right amount of sleeve and exactly the right like fit and just everything on it so it's really something we love this little cap a lot um and then yeah it has these pockets that we just adored they're super big and the girls just love yeah, putting things so in these pockets and i love one of the things that i really love about this design is the way it kind of goes up on the side well, here too. Well, this little um, princess line is always flattering. Yeah, it people. really adds just yeah. well, it adds just a touch, you know, of. So of Kristen and I it. were talking on um, Friday about a collar that starts at the shoulder seam, and so and somebody said, "Is it too? Is it? It might be too thick." But this is this is a yeah lined collar with a, a knife pleated trim, and it's not thick at all in the shoulder seam. It, it really is perfect. Right. Well, in this posy, so we actually um, selected this. this is a, there's a kit for this posy now that you mm -hmm, guys have, mm -hmm. and um, that I I selected, and we got to make it into a kit. And um, we, you know, it's hard when you're picking out fabrics and things online. You don't always mm -hmm. know. So I was a little nervous um, about like the knife pleating on mm -hmm, the collar, like mm -hmm. it adding too much bulk. And I was so pleasantly surprised with the knife pleating. It is so much more easy. Like I was always kind of shied away from it mm -hmm. because I was like. Is it going to add bulk? Is it going to be too thick? Yeah. And man, it just, it it's went in, cute. it went in around the collar so nicely because it's on the bias and then it kind of curves and it just goes in really well. So I was really coordinating happy with it. Um, light pink yeah, piping, piping around in here the, and around the, in the pocket. seam here. And yeah, and actually with the kits you guys sent, man, those kits, um, you sent plenty of fabric in those kits. Good. So you'd be able to, I think really you'd be able to, I was going to test it and I just ran out of time, make the dress in the size you want. And you can do any variation like, Obviously, here I put those there, but you could also do the the bodice full across with the print, and then just the pocket different. I think for older girls, a lot of the time, I like the bodice Same. more solid, mm -hmm. and then just the pockets mm -hmm. as the highlight, mm -hmm. or even just they the whole thing solid. The the All right. Oh. Well, <laughs> I haven't put the buttons and buttonholes on yet, so be be fair. <laughs> be kind. So I actually love to see it this way because you can see that cap so. Pretty. Oh, okay. yeah, it does cap yeah. out just a little, and it's just it has a nice. I mean, it's a higher back, but it's not super high back, so it's nice. They want us to see the close-up of the collar, too. Well, we could lay We're it down. We're going to have to picture that. I'm going to have to. Yeah, take, do you it, take it off. That's awesome. Let's do this. So there the posy dress, right and okay. this makes up, this is the two to four. Do we want it? Is that, that, that way good, or we have to flip yeah. it? Okay. So here's the collar so for the overview. If you're on Instagram, you'd have to go to Facebook, or if you're on, um, yeah, if you're on Instagram, you'd have to see this in, on Facebook. Well, and so with the knife pleating, I did separate the collar a little bit, and that did add just a little extra in here. But if you make the collar without the pleating, it does meet like right there and then it does this it mm -hmm. goes up but i like the just partial collar um well, i love the um eyelet i, I love the eyelet i as think the it's coordinate. really sweet with this too and actually so with that it is um underlined the eyelet's underlined mm -hmm. and then it's also lined so i mean there's like right. three layers there but it's still yeah it works really well so one thing that i feel like is um like how long does it take do you know how long it takes you to make a posy or like so what, what it, I'm getting as Laura is extremely fast. Well, it depends so on the posy. Uh -huh. um, like this one takes a little longer because I had to do the collar and the underlining yeah. and the pleating. And, mm -hmm. and so this one, I think probably like, well, and okay, here's the other thing. And this is, this is something I'll reach the end of the days. The beauty of a garment happens in the cutting. When you're cutting your fabric is like, I always say that's when the magic happens. I am very like, 
So I, I take a little longer to cut things because like you'll see on this, um, are we still on there? Oh, yeah, you, uh -huh. you can see on this one, like I meticulously made sure I want this pink flower to be right here in the middle mm -hmm. and then they come mm -hmm. down. And then when I cut the panels for the mm -hmm. skirt, I actually paid attention. That there's a pink, this pink, the same pink flower. This one is right here. Mm -hmm. And then I pulled it up so that they both kind of went in. So it wasn't like a jarring jump between to straight. Right. 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 To be, yeah. Mm -hmm. So there was kind of, so it, so the pattern still flowed across mm -hmm. the whole dress. And that mm -hmm. is something I always try to really I think that's pay attention why I love to. Your dresses because of noticing all that detail. Yeah, I like, always like, like so this aware. one. Yeah, yeah. Like when I, when oh, I, I cut things, one. I am very like, I just try very hard to like, I pay attention to mm -hmm. what the pattern is doing and how it needs to be laid out. And even like, like trying to make sure that we get an even. Yeah. Like these are lined up and this, yeah, this those are lined up in this spot. And that, that's right. That all happens when you cut. Well, also at the, at the shoulder seam, you've got your yellow flower ending in yes. the seam. Mm -hmm. And so I just, I always, so that does take a little more time. I take a little more time cutting things. Um, if I was going to make a posy that, Super wasn't fast. wasn't underlined mm -hmm. and didn't have fancy stuff in the collar, but so a collar I could probably do it in about well, like a, like two hours. Mm -hmm. But this one I probably did like four or five hours yeah. just because it's a different. Well, and I was thing. trying to I was trying to sew pretty for you. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna put Let's it on close there's, up. There's pretty sewing and then there's right, get it yeah, done sewing. Get it and yeah, right. this one was pretty sewing. So the bodice is lined. Yes, it's fully lined. Yep. And. I, I always like it when the bodice is lined. Yeah, I like the lining. So too. what about, you have um, Poppy is on this little doll. Yes. And then you have your beautiful wedding week Poppy dress behind yes. you. Yes. So um, that is organdy, and I see you have the pink organdy. Yes. And are you an organdy fan? I have a love hate with organdy. Yeah. Can no I say kidding. that? Do you want to do this um, one next? We can bring that over. Yeah, however. Here, we can pull this back. So, so you said you have a love hate with organdy. Yes. Well, and it's mostly love. I would say I mostly love I'm organdy. Pull, let's, let's pull this off. Yeah. Let's see if it. You can probably it unsnap it. Oh, okay. I'll do it. All right. So, um, what is the hate factor of organdy? Let's just get okay. it over with. Um. Well, I told <laughs> someone organdy is like sewing with paper. It if you crease it, it is creased, but it is creased forever okay. and it it'll give you a paper cut like paper mm -hmm. it, like actually when I was making the white one I was like running my finger along because I did a little pin tucks in it and I was running my finger along the edge and it did it cut my finger and I was like oh. that's real <laughs> I'm like, you made thing um oh this is so cute so I right love it here yeah I love it because yeah I love that I brought this one is oh. I know but I love organdy I'm like I can't to the ever head yeah, so go yeah, ahead and put the dress right on there yeah I, I do. I can't, I can, like, my love for it outweighs my hate for it for sure. Here, we can pull it down here and talk about this now part. This, first. I love what you did on the bodice. So, this is honeysuckle. So, this, or, this organdy is a, um, it is a flounce. We call it a flounce. Yes. It's usually about 27 inches wide with a, an embroidered design on one side. Yes. And we cannot get the pink anymore. We only have it now in pieces, it's online in pieces. Um, like one and a half yards to one yard, Which two yards. Which is so sad because like the pink is yeah, the, pink the is, most beautiful it's soft pink. Wonderful. I love this color but so much. Look what, look, but yeah, so I pulled the ties. The tie. that's so, so I used cute. the flounce. I pulled it up on here. That's, and that's, then, that's, we first saw you with this dress. Yeah. And so that was like all the things we were talking about. I didn't never even notice you used the edging on the tie. Yeah, I used yeah, the edging. I, I pulled the edging in on the ties. And then the other thing that is kind of special about the dress is I used the lining is... Oh, it's a design oh, fabric. It's, yeah, it's, this is like a lino. Yeah, and so it um, how it pulls through though. Like that? I love because it gives it you does can, give it you can more, see the stripe yeah. coming through, and it does it gives the whole thing another texture. See now, texture. people would be really afraid to do that, but I think that adds so much more. I to really it. love um, line, like anytime, especially if I use like a lawn like that is see through. Mm -hmm. I love to add a stripe or something behind the lawn. That or I pay attention. It's not always. Sometimes right. you don't want to add a stripe. Sometimes mm -hmm. you just want to see. This is tone on tone with the the design yeah, the tone is in on the tone weave. Just makes it really and oh, man, that neat. is so cute. Yeah, because yeah, we're like, oh, wow. look, she upturned the edging for the for the yeah. Bottom. Yeah, yes, I mean, yeah. yeah. because I mean, you. I don't even think about doing that, but that. See, we've got some short, some small pieces that are maybe um, a quarter of a yard or an eighth. And this is probably more like a quarter of a yard. Right. And well, one place this kind like of comes from is I have a real love of vintage fabrics. Oh, but you can't too. often find like sometimes when you me find too. a really beautiful vintage fabric, mm -hmm. you find like a small piece of it, mm -hmm. and you're like, oh, I love that. 
<laughs> How can I but use it? But you're like, you can't use it on a whole dress. So I definitely, right. over the years, you know, like you try to think of ways you can incorporate it up on it. Well, so I, I love turning that. this up on the bodice and giving that detail here. So this is really over a soft, what I'd call a soft white. Mm -hmm. And but over here, this is organdy again, just the plain organdy from yeah. here over the top. This is just the white. extra. Yep. Yeah. So it, the whole thing kind of gets yes. this overall pink sheen. And then this is a little bit because this is not underlined. Yeah. That gives it a little bit more color. This is yeah, I know. So I love perfect. the way. I yeah. actually one of the things I wish they made this color because I love the way when it's gathered here up at the top. Right. It almost makes like an ombre effect as it goes yeah. down because yeah. it will wow. yeah. like because it it's does. more gathered. So mm -hmm. like the, the pink darker. gets a little darker right. than it as it shows out, and that's why I lined it in white too. Is because you can line it in pink, but I just really want no, it to such I a like soft. It soft Plus, soft it color. shows. I think it shows up the design a little bit yeah. more too. I love this. Oh. I love this design so much. I was like, well, a lot of times when we have when we're working on a pictorial or something like that. We'll carry a, something like this around, and like we just lay it, lay it, us. lay it on top of all these different things, and all of a sudden, one just like that's perfect. I actually do that. <laughs> do you do that? I saw you're like, yeah. well, I'll start. I'll be like, I'll sit at my cut table, and I'll pull like the one thing I want, and then yeah. I'm like, okay, but what? What is this? Yeah. Which, which that's is right. Which is why that's my right. fabric cord is so yeah, out of control. This is pretty. You know, you always gotta. You have to have the right. Like, if I don't have the right color on hand, I'm right. like, oh, it's, I know. it's so frustrating I know. when you don't have yeah. the right under color mm -hmm. on hand. And then, wow, I never ever would have thought of put putting a textured fabric like this under here. Well, it, and actually, when I did it, I remember thinking, oh, this feels like a bit of a waste. Like, oh, because this is so cute. Because already. it's so beautiful, and I was like, oh, I love this fabric. But really, I felt like just when when I. I'll, I will go around. I'll just like layer it on different things and yeah. see how it layers. And I, I really love loved that. that it just gave an extra like texture. It to the does. Dress. It's, it's great. Yeah. So the name of this pattern. This is Honeysuckle. Honeysuckle. And Honeysuckle can, it has um, this kind of like wider flounce, but then it also has like a narrow ruffle and it has some sleeve options too. So yeah. if you are just tuning in, I feel like I want to like yeah, we need to say it again. an idea mm -hmm. of um, there, <clears throat> excuse me, there is a sneak peek to a new peony pattern that yes. has not been seen before, which yes. is so exciting. So yes. then also you're offering the 30 person off. We are, switch. we're offering the 30 person off again. We're going to sneak a brand new pattern. It should release next week. Next week. Yeah. It should yeah. be, it should be next week. Yeah. So it's, so. it's in testing right now. And our testers are just like every single time a tester like shows her pictures. I'm just like, Oh, oh I love it. I love that one. I know. And I feel bad because I feel like I'm always like, Oh, I love it. But I really like every single time I'm like, Oh, I love it. Like oh, I really do. Like if it, like anytime I comment, like, oh, I love it. I really am just, <laughs> I, do like I just it. love it. I can't help it. I have questions about the yoke. They want to know what fabric is made out of and if it is pink or white. This one? Yeah. Well, the, the, here we go. Here we go. Um. So do you want to go overhead? Sure. So yeah, this is, what this is made of is the first layer, right? The under, it's underlined. So it's lined in just like a white poly batiste. Mm -hmm. I think that's what mm -hmm. I usually use. Um, and then it's underlined, so which is, I mean, you guys explained that before. It's where you put like one directly underneath it. So it's underlined in this same white stripe. And then I layered the pink organdy on top. And the pink organdy was from the flounce. So the flounce is 27 inches. Mm -hmm. And I had, I left this much out of the skirt. So I used the original 20, like, so this part up here is used right here. And also on and, the underneath and on the yeah. and on mm -hmm. the side panels. And then I took the same flounce from the skirt and I layered it again on top. So like right here, this is layered with the embroidery and the pink organdy and the white and the white the white stripe. Uh, yeah, tone on tone stripe woven yeah. stripe. And then lined in a white batiste. And then lined in a white mm -hmm. batiste, which mm -hmm. is nice because it makes it very comfy on it, the inside. Well, yeah, it does make it. Well, in fact, somebody asked Laura that when when she recently and put the one, white the white dress. Okay, quick. here I'll put this in the. And do you make a sewn in petticoat for each and every dress, or use a, a separate? One? Um, it depends on the dress. Like these organy dresses have, um, the sewn in petticoats. I do love sewn in petticoats because they naturally add so much to the dress. But um, a lot of times I don't. Just like she has, Bonnie has. Um, well, I think you guys have here the bouffant slips mm -hmm. that she wears, especially if we're shooting multiple dresses and we're going to be like changing on location. I like her to wear a slip underneath them just so that she, it's like, and she's covered. So in. she's covered. Mm -hmm. But this one, um, what I was actually going to show is the like the inside because this is this is the organdy again, and it is actually 
Oh, I'm sorry. Are you on? No, no. Do you want to go over your face? Yep. I'll go over here. So it's the same again um, with the organdy. And this one's really fun because I use the flounce that's layered and I put the flounce up top. But then I have this um, edge. Oh, you've got netting here. Yeah. So I use the, cute, um, cute, the cute. edge lace that I also used on the petticoat um, on the edges here. But I just took off the flower because it stood out too much. Right. And then yeah, I added these extra little like, I think it's English netting um, from you guys because it was with my Mary Poppins dress. And I used English netting from you guys for that. So I'm assuming that's what that still is. Um, I liked it because it kind of made it look like like angel wings yeah especially when she's wearing it from behind it's very soft too, yeah and it, it is soft it's and that's soft. the nice thing is because the dress is like fully lined on the inside like you can see that it's I like i love i love this about how you're showing your dresses because i feel like the inside is so important like and you flip yeah. your dresses inside so out. yeah it's lined on the inside so she doesn't get any of this like it's like you can almost hear the organ deep. Well, like you can hear it like kind of like we, we've it's laughed crunchy. about about um, kids. If you don't cover the seams or line yeah. it, they walk around like this and don't dare move because it's like little needles punching yes. them in. But this dress, be, she really. was able to like, because the skirt is lined, it has the under petticoat, and then it has this pet. So this one is extra because it was for wedding week and we were yeah. we were being extra. Um, <laughs> <laughs> right? Um, but so it just ha has the, the um, edge lace on the, the inside liner. And then it has this yeah. one in between that is just the organdy, which I really mm -hmm. love because organdy does have so much yeah, body to it. It's it so light and fluffy, mm -hmm. but then it has like this really great body. And then there's this, the yeah, outer so this would be your love relationships with organdy. This is, I yeah. love, well, another thing, I like, I, I do, I love, I love that it's light and it's fluffy and it's just beautiful. And it's airy. And and it's airy. Angelic. Yes. Well, this, this flounce is one of my favorite flounces because this it, this looks like a lot of lace um, edging sewn together, it but does. this is really all the embroidery at the. I had a lot of people ask about the, this lace, and I was just yeah, like, it's, "This is the embroidery part at the at the bottom of the flounce." So yeah. So this was the flounce was done twenty seven like inches. So mm -hmm. this is actually part of this same flounce. Mm -hmm. So I was able to use the skirt flounce here and here, and then this is an insertion. And that you just sewed on top, right? Um, I actually sewed it in. Oh, you did sew it, it is in? sewn in. Wow, look at that. Girl, look at that. I, I sewed it and trimmed it. I'm so impressed. <laughs> I really did insert it. Because you really didn't need to do that, right? Well, it had um it did have How a did it look. It shaded it. Oh, it had it, it had, had a raw edge. It had a raw edge, edge oh, which would okay. have given someone right, a right, right. cut. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> she would have been bleeding. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> my daughter's bleeding on my white dress. <laughs> we can't have blood on the white yeah. dress. So mm -hmm. no, that is inserted, and then I did the little pin tucks too, which is one of the things I do love about organdy though, is with the pin tucks, um, I was literally able to just like oh yeah, you run you're, my finger yeah, through right, that, and that's like right, and it's gonna hold and it, then right? just do that, yeah, and then yeah. it was like and then sew it down, and then that is there forever. <laughs> so this, so this is a, a wide ruffle at the bottom of the skirt, mm -hmm. and then she did the same thing with the. This is the second layer, mm -hmm. had the gathered skirt and then a wide ruffle um, attached attached which this is the, part of this is in the pattern too i mean not doing two skirts oh. isn't but like this oh, is the ruffle the this ruffle is, is in the pattern this, this tiered skirt is in the I pattern and then this is okay. the same tiered skirt yeah. from the pattern only i didn't it's just different and then this is the simple skirt from the pattern so right. it really is just okay. the skirts from awesome. the pattern so here's a question up. for you mm -hmm. did, did you then i didn't put it together oh side. i see what you did you can how see how awesome. i did that yeah okay did you gather the two layers together at the same time and put them with this, or did you gather them separately? Um, I together, gathered I them separately. I like to, you I'm can sure. do either way. I think you did them together. Oh, I gathered them separately. Oh my gosh, I love you all <laughs> studying this thing. That is awesome. um, I like to gather them separately because I like them to have separate um, gathers because it makes them poof more. Well, that's true. Like it gives it more volume. If they're, if they're gathered together, they're going to lock up. So see how these don't lock up the same, like these perma wrinkles in the gathers are separate from these wrinkles in the gathers. Is this one honeysuckle as well? This one is poppy and okay. poppy the big difference is so this is poppy. I added this big giant bow, but the poppy is it's got this all right it's upside down. <laughs> but we're just gonna call it good. Let's, so go, with it. It. Let's just go with it. But poppy has this beautiful open back that um I just love. And so this open back with the way the tool went up mm -hmm. just kind of gave her like these beautiful like wings coming out. So if y'all didn't know um 
painting patterns had a wedding week last week we and did. so that was with any pattern or did y'all did y'all have a, a certain pattern people no used? we all i mean yeah everyone could use whatever pattern they wanted we just wanted like to be frilly we just wanted to be pretty frilly. we it just wanted to really pretty. showcase so pretty. like just really beautiful okay now i'm going to show occasion. you uh, something that she did here because i oh, think this, this is, is going to so embarrass me don't be embarrassed because oh, so i think much. this is great okay actually stephanie dabs who's who's who makes beautiful pageant oh, dresses oh, yeah does this also so this bottom this underneath slip is attached to the lining mm -hmm. and so the lining then is not attached you're just gonna see i didn't i'm the, embarrassed don't, because don't, i didn't clean be, it up it doesn't matter because you, nobody's gonna see that don't be don't be embarrassed because i think this is a great but idea yeah, i did i like to especially yeah. if i'm doing multiple layers or right. like the big tool dresses right. anytime i can with the big tool dresses if there's layers of tool I'll attach the layers of tulle to the outer, right, the main of the garment, right. and then put the underskirt layer to the lining. And then it does give that full coverage, well, too. They're not, not going to be near the tulle. Not only that, this is this what happens sometimes when you attach your um, your underskirt to the waistband and then your, then your lining. It sometimes wants to pulls funny. buckle up weird, yes. like this. You get it all sewn down, and you're like, "Oh my goodness!" Which is just my bodice is buckled. So that com completely yeah, helps you avoid nice that issue. It's nice because it does the the underskirt weighs down the yeah, lining part, yeah. so it stays in place where it should be, and then the overskirts don't get too bulky, and then they stay in place, it's and it all just perfect. It can move freely, on yeah, them, I rather love than that. being pulled one way and or the other. Speaking of Stephanie Dab, she said that that dress is so stunning, it's fit for Thank an you. angel. Well, Thank Stephanie you. has mm -hmm. this this aqua dress I up saw here she did Stephanie that one, that made one just like that in our yellow version yeah a yes. yellow fabric i and loved so it it was, it was beautiful wonderful. i saw that so yeah. Catherine's asking about the projector are the files projector friendly and we all of our patterns come with a projector file also mm -hmm. so you can get oh amber just answered that amber campbell at, she is one of our designers <laughs> she's our she's a, well she mainly does our doll designs and our baby designs she's, yep so I've been talking about this sneak peek. Can we introduce? Yes, we can. Pattern? We can. Um, this is fun. Should we start with the, the fancy sure. one? Sure. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Do you want to hang that down? Okay. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, this is our new pattern. It's coming out next week, and it is called Juniper. And Whoa. Juniper has. I should. I let me show you the back though. The back of this dress Yay. is just it has a million views. I can already tell because the two different styles that you brought are just it's, night and day. It's it's right. amazing because you can do um just so much with this dress. And it's such a beautiful sundress. Um these angles, and actually like, if it fits the mannequin better would be, but like the angle that you get on the back here is just really pretty. And then it has these um tie sleeves and the elastic back, which is always nice when you don't have to you have to mess with buttons, you mm -hmm. just get this pretty elastic it back. Fits. And then, and do we, do you have the picture of Bonnie in this oh, one? Yes, yes, yes. Oh. Um, but yeah, and so this one is nice. So it has, Juniper has several options with it. It has, um, this one is actually the mini length. So it's very, it's short kind of, oh, I was going goodness, for like a ballerina. Do you oh. want it? Yes, I'm trying to set how I want to show this. Oh, wow. Oh. So that is oh. Juniper on Bonnie. And um, wow. It's so it has that really pretty background that it has the bows on wow. the shoulder, wow. and that was kind of it's supposed to be. This is slightly ballerina Can inspired. You give us hair lessons too. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Honestly, the key to Bonnie's hair is it's always a mess when I do that to oh, it. Oh, that helps. Like dirty. It's well, better. it's messy, and then like I don't even like like with that. It's just like looped back and pinned, and then I will throw like a ponytail in this like mess and it just it always just that's how yeah. her hair wow. works um, i love the back i love the back of this but this one the skirt options um on this one this is the mini tiered skirt there's also a mini simple skirt so it doesn't have the tiers um there's the vintage simple skirt and the vintage tiered skirt but then we also took it to a maxi which is oh, back the, here the maxi which, is going to be fun uh, the girls love Girls love a maxi mm -hmm. so much. This screamed our beach dresses from last year. I was yeah. like, oh my goodness. Yeah, this no, this is, perfect. and this, I got this beautiful, what? I was trying to say, because this isn't a, a linen. It's a linen Well, it's a linen, it's a linen look. look. But I, it's like linen and rayon or something. Yeah, because well, it's like got a rayon to yeah. it. It's like linen. Bonnie And loved. they were in panels. Yes. It came in panels. I, I bought two panels. So whoever this bought this, look at this great. You, whoever yeah. bought this, you are, but so I took Make the. This. 
yeah, the panels. This is, this and we have great. a picture of, I think, yes, Bonnie wearing yes, this yes, one, yes. too. But so this, it also comes, it'll be a maxi dress, too. All right, y'all. Get ready, because this is stunning once again. You've seen the real thing, but. How about that? Oh, that is but then you can so see the beautiful. pretty back. The back on this is just so beautiful. It I is. just love the way the back came together on this one. Gorgeous. Um, gorgeous. And the other thing though that is really nice about it is even though it is like a tie sleeve dress, we did pay really particular attention to how the arm size sits. Mm -hmm. Again, it mm -hmm. doesn't cut in too far. They're not gonna have too much coverage, mm -hmm. I mean too much showing across mm -hmm. the chest. They have nice mm -hmm. coverage all the way through the arms. And I think that's just such an important thing when you're going for a dress like this but bonnie yeah. loves i was actually showing so i made this sample i think just this week for her and she's worn it several times to the point Aww. where there's like a little popsicle <laughs> on it <laughs> because it's so but she thinks this is just so comfy and you know they, and they just love maxi too. dresses yeah um but yeah so this is the maxi length and then the maxi also has the tiered maxi which mm -hmm. is just the tiered maxi is stunning i've seen we could have used that, that, used that pattern less perfect, perfect right yeah. 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 yeah and yeah that tiered maxi though i mean because it's got all that it just has so much volume mm -hmm. at the bottom it's really beautiful and it's really fun i've seen a lot of people um because the ties are separate so like like you can see we made it so that the ties there's two reasons we did the ties this way but the ties become their own like they're sewn right here right. At, the, at the thing. So you know to tie it up right here. Right. It's because that way you're not going to end up mm -hmm. accidentally tying it too low and it's sagging. Mm -hmm. um, the other kind of fun thing is you can switch the ties out right. for a different fabric. So if you're, you know, I've seen really cute ones where the whole thing is a floral and then they do like a solid tie. I like having a little more space in there too, just a little bit. Yeah. And so it yeah. just gives like, it, so they can have like this really cute blue bow on this mm -hmm. blue floral dress. with like So you can mm -hmm. switch the bows out. You can do a lot. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of really pretty options that's that, beautiful like i kind of want to make a thousand more of them but. so is this a separate piece in here yeah this is yes a, that's this a separate is a separate piece. piece in here do you actually um with this this back piece do you actually sew your casing in and you get this piece already and then you sew it into the yeah yeah but so that's nice because then um on this one i didn't which and I, i'll confess bonnie does not like serge seams on the insides of her dresses so she, i don't serge the insides she likes cut seams so i leave them cut when i do it for her and actually look at that um oh you didn't even match your thread come my way just a little bit <laughs> <laughs> look at this she used whatever bobbin no 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 no, 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 no that's confession. not what you're seeing oh is that what i'm seeing what is that a line you are seeing that i wrote with pencil oh <laughs> I thought maybe you just sewed <laughs> on the inside. <laughs> Listen, y'all. Like, I, I totally get this. <laughs> That's why we can sew fast. No, right? No, sometimes I was like, oh, I just got to get this done. And like, I couldn't, nah, nah, I couldn't nah, find nah. my things that go away. <laughs> yeah, right. And I was like, it's on the inside. It does not matter. <laughs> That's but funny. what I do, <laughs> the important what I was trying to show everybody. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> so what are these dark lines on here? <laughs> If I never come back, because <laughs> Sally was mean. <laughs> no, um, but it's enclosed on the inside so that they do get. <laughs> okay, we, are, we are lost now. This is a sinking ship. You know, one, I'll tell you one Here, thing. I'm going to do myself. Look at how pretty it's top That's beautiful. Look, and you don't so really need to take it. I'm just trying to redeem Change myself a little bit. Like, wow. So, oh, so yeah. when, when, like I sew for all different sizes of, of yes. granddaughters. And so something like this, you could actually give a little more space in there or loosen the, the elastic you really, a little you bit. You really like can. That, right? um, and it actually, this has, um, especially the final, when we put out the final, mm -hmm. um, cause this was still, this is actually, was still a sample dress. Yeah. So we actually still reworked things a little bit, even at this point, we really, um, we like to listen to our testers and if they say, Oh, I, I feel like it's going to need a little more room in this size range mm -hmm. or whatever that we really like to like, okay, well then we'll, we'll fix that mm -hmm. and we'll make sure it's right because we want it to be right. Um, so someone wants to know about the code. So the code for Peony Patterns website is Gab, Gab and, Gush, and Gush. And it's all one word, Gab yes. and Gush. And write A-N-D. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. Yes. So mm -hmm. Gab. But first you have and... to say it quickly, like Gab and Gush. Oh, but you do have to have an account, <laughs> I believe. Okay. So you have to and, check out right. with an account. I don't think you can check yeah. out as a guest. You have to like have an account and check out that's the way it works with, with us account. too yes log in. so code. if it's not working log in with your account and try that first mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. if it's still not working 
um, log so out and try it again. All the, all <laughs> text the, admins. the patterns that you see today, this this new pattern is not available. This yet. will not no. be there yet. This, this will be there next week. This is our this Ooh, is next week. This is, yes, you wait. guys are the first people to get to see this. Awesome. I'm I'm loving this. I this dress is just it has so much potential. I mean, there's like I so can, many options. I can totally see myself making this dress. Yeah, I, I yeah. love this one. And well, you can make That's, it fancy or you can mm -hmm, make it really simple. Mm -hmm. You can, you know, you can do the tiers yeah. or you can not do the tiers. That's really It has cute. so, it's such a beautiful, and it has a beautiful cut that really like, especially on like, like, I wish I could have Bonnie here just standing here wearing mm -hmm. things because yeah. like when she like the cut of it is just really it's really a beautiful cut. Good. Like, it's Good. just it is very flattering mm -hmm. and it, like every little every little girl who well, we pop up pictures of it in the testing groups it's, it's like, working. It's like oh that is so like every time like mm -hmm. I just love it so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well and then I love the variety like what you are talking about. Oh this, my this goodness dress to the pink one that you shared. Yeah, well, yeah and they're completely the it's pattern. completely different. You can well that's even why we did wedding week is because a lot of times you can see the patterns one way and it's like easy to see them as like yeah, it's easy to see thing. it's easy to see poppy as okay. like an everyday little girl dress mm -hmm. and when you see this who would ever think of doing this how awesome is that <laughs> i mean i love when you show in your different ideas and like oh yeah that's a that's great I idea like, oh, i love that, that. Back up yes. Yes. Uh, yeah yeah i had just enough Wow, that was one of those on the two panels. That yeah. was one of those things where it's like, take your time and come. Mm -hmm. I, I, mm -hmm. And I do, even like with something like this that yeah. is like really a lot, like all one, mm -hmm. I really try to take my time to think yeah. about, like I think through it when I'm cutting it because mm -hmm. I think that that is just. That's the design that in is, you. That's that is, the design That's when you. like, yeah. like that's when magic that. happens. Love that. For sure. So I need to see that scoop back because I love that. I love <laughs> a scoop back. Favorites. I love, love, love this dress. Okay, I'm gonna retie this real quick. So I've got okay. it pinned on the sides because really we need larger mannequins. We, but or, or, I, taking it off, or I need a younger daughter. Yeah. <laughs> Either way. Um, yes, this one's gardenia. Um, I love gardenia. I've made a cut like several gardenias mm -hmm. in your and fabrics satin, from farm. The, the black satin with the plaid back, mm -hmm. which is one of her Christmas dresses, mm -hmm. and it was just beautiful. Um, I love Look at the that sleeve. Back. Yeah, the sleeve dress. on this is well, really And I have really one that too. I made. Um, I keep doing it the wrong way. I'm so sorry. Um, so I have one that I also made from, from Farmhouse Fabrics that has um, the Liberty top and the blue stripes. Oh, right. You remember right. that yes. one? Uh -huh. And the kind of fun uh -huh. thing about that is, um, so it has this little... Um, little ruffle at the call at the sleeve but then it also ha has the option to have the little ruffle this one doesn't have it because i just loved this beautiful yellow oh the little ruffle but the, the has the little ruffle right, at the hem right. and i am just yeah. like i die for that little ruffle yeah. on the hem yeah, like it just cute. makes it so it just adds such another beautiful layer but i love well and i love this fabric this is one of my this fabric and the pink organdy were actually the first fabrics i ever bought from you guys oh, wow because That's i just fun. like it's just something it's just like yeah this is a really pretty this is a swiss fabric it is i love mm -hmm. swiss fabrics yep. but it just makes like it's just kind of dreamy it's mm -hmm. so pretty well i like because i don't know i guess I, when i think about a ruffle on the sleeve i feel like i dream it bigger but right. i love this little, i love the little, little tiny ruffle, ruffle. like showed. it just makes it really delicate mm -hmm. um and i think because the ruffle on the back is bigger mm -hmm. we wanted to keep the other ruffles smaller um and i just kids and i do love this back i really love um because it, it's not, it's a nice open back, but I don't feel like it's too deep. Too mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not mm -hmm. too much. So, because mm -hmm. like, Bonnie can wear this to church and things yeah. like that. And it's not, you know, or even school, they don't. Mm -hmm. So I love that it has kind of that delicate open back. Because, mm -hmm. yeah, open backs are just so sweet on little girls, mm -hmm. I feel like. Um, yeah, that's a little I love it. I love this one. So the name of this again? This one is Gardenia. Gardenia. Yep. And it has a lot of pretty options, too. So Peony Patterns is having a 30% off site-wide sale mm -hmm. in honor of Laura Hilton joining us um, today. And, so, and it's all week long, right? Yep, it's running all week. And the, the code is Gab and Gush. Yes. So you're going to have to try these patterns and then send us some pictures. Yep. And send them some pictures. All right. Was there anything else we need to... Oh, we didn't do Myrtle. Did no, we talk we about Myrtle? We didn't talk about Myrtle. Shannon wants to know, do you use Imperial Batiste to line all your garments? Um, I love Imperial Batiste to line my garments. I have... Um, sometimes I do use lawn. I really, really love farmhouses, lawn, solid lawns, and they're really nice. Um, I like to keep the inside of the garments as soft as possible. I think, especially since Bonnie wears them so much, mm -hmm. I don't ever want her to be uncomfortable. So I do like to use um, 
that's your typical uh, lining. Yeah, yeah I think like imperial Matisse sweet, I tend sweet, to use sweet. a lot. I think you guys have a really nice soft one that I just really I love. I love this. I love this dress. And it was fun to see this made up. I, I, I handpicked this fabric this, when, when I went up to New York one time. And I thought, I wish somebody would sew this up. And I was really, really excited when I, we did that. I love this when I saw it so much um, on the website. This is one of those ones it's where when it came in real year. life, I was like, oh, that's not what I was expecting. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Had a little um, internet trickery there. Well, it's it's more like a, it's more nylon. I actually called it like it's bouncier. Uh, it's bouncier. It's yeah. bouncier than I would have like than I thought. It like, probably it's is some has, nylon in here. Yeah, it has like sheer. some nylon uh -huh. in it, and I think it has like kind of a bounce to it. And mm -hmm. I wasn't when I ordered it, I wasn't necessarily expecting mm -hmm. like a bouncy fabric. Yeah, but I really, I do, I love this fabric. I I love all the colors of it. So had you then, dreamed it up for that style, and then did you change it? I once had the fabric this. Um, no, I just. I buy pretty fabrics when I see them and uh, then and then and then I stand there looking at the fabric when a new like when a new pattern comes in and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna need to make that in this one and in this one and in like and I'll pull like three or four. Because I do like when we're testing a pattern, mm -hmm, especially mm -hmm. I like to personally, if I can find the time to do it, make it in a lot of different fabrics mm -hmm, so that we know. Mm -hmm. Like because that's the other thing is like certain certain styles so this well. Is too thick. Like, okay, now we know, like, okay, this one doesn't really work for quilting cotton, but it works beautifully in rayon. Mm -hmm. Okay, this one, you know, and so it's just, it's fun. Because, like, Myrtle especially, um, I made this one. I made one that was tulle. I made, like, one out of a lawn. So I did a lot of different ones. Um, and this one, do you know? This is Sunwash Chambray. Is that what that is? Oh, yeah. I was like, do you this remember is a, what this I used This is Sunwash Chambray, yeah. This is, this was, when I used this as the lining, I felt like... I can't believe I'm making this choice. Well, and I well, can't believe how wonderfully they match. Well, up. sometimes you know my lining that is was, really weird compared to you know, what the but, outside. But is. it was but it was one of those times where right. I wanted to use this fabric, and mm -hmm. it was this was like I pulled all these different mm -hmm. fabrics, I pulled all mm -hmm. my different lining mm -hmm. fabrics, I pulled all kinds of things. Shocked. Yeah, and then I was like, oh, "Have we done some weird gonna, linings on our?" I'm gonna before. have to yeah. use this one. So. But it's, it's the perfect color, it, yeah. Yeah. and I love this back. Well, even seeing it in person and seeing the inside fabric, it doesn't stand out as something that's wrong no well and i love i was the only reason i think i was so sad that i use this because now i don't now you don't have it no i don't have it to use on <laughs> the outside still, i still have more actually yeah did I buy we have we already? have more i might no. have bought oh i don't know <laughs> i might have bought the last of it on Friday. But this is a really sweet so is it a wrap all the way down it, it is it's, it's a true wrap. wrap it's a true wrap and this one i mean the just get it this way just a little okay. bit okay oh, um it is a true wrap dress so it does that. And then this is another one of those ones where really a lot came down to figuring out the proper um, angles and fitting because it does have this V and it kind of has a wider, like almost mm -hmm. like, like not a quite a boat neck, but kind of like a boat neck. Mm -hmm. And so it sits a little wider. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm upside down. I keep it's doing right. that to you. Yeah. I feel like people are getting used to it by now. Mm -hmm. um, but so since it does sit a little more, we really mm -hmm. had to take a lot of mm -hmm. care to make sure that it wasn't going to, like, even yeah, though it sits like wide, it will not fall right, off their shoulders right. as long as you make the right size. Mm -hmm. Well, you want to tell us about the sleeves? These sleeves are, I love these sleeves. Um, are we real red? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, like, and actually you can see, oh, and sorry, Bonnie does wear these. And <laughs> That's all right. I love that part. You might see good. things like, I don't think it, they're, they, Bonnie does truly wear them. So the nice thing about this sleeve though, is it is, the sleeve is lined. So you can see from the inside, it's got a full lining and then the edge. So it doesn't have the annoying elastic. Mm -hmm. in it mm -hmm. that like uh it's like all the puppy I and mean, we love the ones with elastic too but it gives it just this a whole different look and what i love is with fabrics like this you can see like where you can see through it it right. gives just this you can really, see the sheerness like, you can see it's like yeah. a bubble it's mm -hmm. a different dynamic mm -hmm. yeah it's really well it is kind of like the old bubble skirts you know where yeah. the lining the, where the lining, lining of the is, skirt is shorter than the top yeah, and so then it made a bubble pulls the whole yeah, thing that's, in because yeah right. it is this like the lining is you call it bubble shorts no a skirt i mean did they have shorts well, i think too? of it as a bubble i think of like with a with a shorts i think of it like a um a one piece with the shorts like, are you I mean, thinking of like the too. i remember I she's thinking of something different than us no i'm totally thinking <laughs> about when it bubbles up on the really? bottom really yeah you think of it as a skirt we're thinking of it as a skirt y'all think all and i don't care what y'all think <laughs> she's well, thinking of bubble bubbles i think there's a question uh -huh. she said do you always use snaps versus buttons oh i was gonna call that for that um i used to always 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 use buttons and i was old school and i am old school that is one of the problems i'm old school about buttons and um 
when I sew samples, most all these dresses are samples. And so when I sew samples, I have to sew so many of them so quickly that I have really gotten in the mm -hmm. bad habit of using snaps. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of like, I bad always, habit. I know, I always, <laughs> no, snaps are wonderful. Everyone, um, no, but for me, it, it, it feels like, um, like I even was like, if you go down that path of using snaps, you're going to just, dark hole. it's it. Well, another nice thing about snaps, what I will say is really nice about snaps. Um, is that Bonnie can, it, even when they snap in the back, she can still undo the snaps mm -hmm. herself. Whereas sometimes buttons can be harder for her to undo herself. So she really likes the snaps and, Usually though, I am like running to get to fit the sample, and I need to just put forgot them my. Um, Are they upstairs? The, yeah, yeah, yeah. She wants to know also where do you come find come talk for a minute, and I'll go get them. Colors. Um, actually, the Cam Snaps website. I I have a Cam Snap Snap Press, the like the green table one. Do you want me to and, I'll, I'll go um, I yeah, all the colors are on the website, so I just have a bunch of. I know I know the colors I tend to use, and I buy a bunch of them. <laughs> So Sally is running up to grab her things to draw. I'm going to take oh, yeah. my shoes off because I'm used to doing it with Sally up here. <laughs> Sally has run to go grab the names for our drawing. So um, we did a giveaway with Peony Patterns mm -hmm. where y'all are offering a pattern for each of our. Yes. Well, we did three because y'all did three. So right. that's how we, that we worked. Have, we have the game a little bit. We're, like, we're doing three. <laughs> yeah. So um, if you don't know, this is Laura Hilton. She is the head designer of Peony Patterns. They are offering 30% off their website. And I believe it's the, the second through the eighth this week. I want to agree with you. Yes. It is the second. <laughs> I think it's the second through the eighth. Yeah. I, it's so we're going to keep talking about this code and, and y'all can keep using it. Yeah. Um, we can talk about this too. Oh, want. yeah, definitely. But if you, you can finish no, your thought no, process. No, that's it. Y'all go things. to peonypatterns.com to get your discount. At, the code is Gavin Gush. The other fun thing we did is we um, put these little postcards together and they have a code on the back. Um, and we're sending these out with every order that anyone places at Farmhouse. You guys will include one of these in with the order. And so anyone ordering today or this week or that would be little like, bit from this moment on because yes. this actually it probably will start tomorrow yes. well it was when these will so be don't order anything so don't get it <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah so every order anyone places with four meals for this sorry no <laughs> that's bit. funny i might yeah. would wait myself this <laughs> like, is gonna be awesome like um you'll get a free download so you can get any any pattern you want you can try any pattern for free that's awesome. um you will just you just need to um have an account to use the code so Awesome. That is it. So you're ready to draw? Yeah. So All right. Y'all, we have this lovely file folder box that we brought <laughs> for Peony Patterns. They because they're used to file patterns. <laughs> so <laughs> I don't know. So underneath here are the, the three gifts that go with All right. Pattern. So are y'all giving a code for because we haven't really discussed all the details? We'll yes. Yes, we will when the, whoever gets these things. They will get a code included if they're purchase yeah. and they can for their download. Okay. And so, yeah, with all the giveaways today that we're doing right now, we're giving a free posy dress. So it, the code will be for a free posy. Posy is that beautiful pocket. This one. With the awesome cap sleeve that I did not know was real. Well, there you go. That's so <laughs> pretty. Yes. So, okay. First, we will offer, um, we are doing a cherries kit. I don't see it up here, but we, we have a cherries kit um, to create the posy yes so do you want to draw to see who wins this would be for the posy dress pattern and the posy kit yes yeah, so oh, you get the wow. posy kit for the cherry one the cherry one is so cute we should have we should have shown that right <laughs> it's really cute though actually what is i was like i love these cherries so it's really cute and then so this will be for the posy kit and the um this so is, she's the winner okay so laura I should not have been the one to have to read this. Menzari Samarano. I mean, I'm sorry that oh. I got scared to say. But it was confusing me, okay, because it also says Bonnie right here. And so Laura and Bonnie like threw me. So oh, just, look at that. It threw me for a minute. That's all I was like, I can't even go Mother on. Mother Lori, daughter Bonnie. Yeah. Laura, uh, Lori. Laura tags Bonnie. Yeah, so that was so interesting. So there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so that that's for the cherry kit and the free posy download yes cool Perfect. okay and so now we're going to be drawing for the interfacing um sampler and then another posy download is this the interfacing i think you guys i think i have this interfacing i think i love it i feel like i'm sending you home with some if you don't have it I so think i think this i just used it light, and I was lighter like, weight uh baby and right. then this is the cotton this, german we use this on the posy collar and I loved it. Mm -hmm. It's fabulous. The, ba the baby. I'm the baby is yeah. really nice. I was like, oh, this is going to. Oh, <laughs> Laura Hamilton. Oh, oh, oh. Your name is Laura. Oh, my goodness. That is so odd. 
Let me hold that one for this I one. I swear I did not like. I think, are they all Laura? <laughs> Let me see that in here. <laughs> Sally went through and she's like, Patty, no. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my. Y'all. Oh, that's funny. What Laura is up next? Let's okay, see. Okay. Okay. I'm going to try really hard not to pick a Laura unless there's another Laura out there. It's because she, say. yeah, yes. we're here. Oh, we're I here love, with Laura. I love I this. Oh, this is an Annette Lepore that we had a few years back. It's it's one of mine and Sally's favorites. Why didn't I answer this? <laughs> yes. like, I'm like Laura Hilson. Oh, yeah, I read the third Laura. Um, okay. I'm okay. oh, sorry, I already pulled it. Yeah, we're good. Um, Arlene Glancy. Congratulations. There we go. Yes. yes. Middle name Laura. Arlene Laura Glancy. She's lying. We'll to you. She's, if, you, if you're Arlene Glancy without Laura in your middle name, you won. You're, but you're sad. Or it could be Laura. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, y'all. We've had so much fun with Peony Patterns and Laura Hilton today. Um, we're excited to keep teaming up with them, and we can't wait to see what Laura picks for today. Like, what yeah. you what you got to shop in here, right? I know. It's, it's, I got a big, I got a big pile going. Yeah. <laughs> I pulled something pink for her that she hasn't seen yet, so I can't Ooh. wait to show her. Yeah. I like pink. <laughs> All right, guys, um, y'all make sure y'all head to peonypatterns.com and you can take advantage of their 30% off coupon. Yep. Um, the code is Gavin Gush and you need a, an account to log out by using the code. And then make sure you buy stuff from Farmhouse tomorrow so that you can get the postcard oh, too. Oh, yeah. Double <laughs> trouble here. All right, guys, we'll see y'all soon.